Hello, there's a couple questions about, I had maybe 10 people from both sections had questions about how to do PS1. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough for it. PS1, there's no code really in it. I just want to make sure that you have an Eclipse, Eclipse installed and you have uh, a proper GitHub account and you know how to commit a project. The code stuff is not that difficult. It's just the, the mechanics of actually downloading, changing, and then posting a GitHub. So let's go through that. Uh, in the lab, excuse me, in the practice set, I've got the starter link. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go into Eclipse. I'm going to paste it in the, uh, excuse me, I'll take that back. I'm in the Git perspective. I'm going to paste it by Control V. Click Next. Click Next. Click Finish. And it is imported. I'm going to go into Source. And I'm going to, my name is Gibbons B, but I'm going to say that I'm, uh, Smith J, let's say. Smith J. I'm going to go into Gibbons B, copy the Hello World method, post it in Smith J. I'm going to go into main and change this from Gibbons B to Smith J. And then I'm going to select Gibbons B and delete. And then I'm going to run this Hello World. And it works. So the, that's as much coding as you have to do. Don't worry about the coding. Let's now post it to to uh, a different GitHub. Now I downloaded this from the CIC 181 account, but I do have a different account, uh, a personal account. So let's show you how to do that. I'm going to go to GitHub. I'm going to. I'm already not signed in. There I am. I'm going to sign in. That's my personal account. I'm going to go into repositories. And I'm going to create a repository, call it PS1. I'm going to select it and copy it on my clipboard. I'm going to go back into here. Now, right now, it's still connected to my old PS1, the starter. Now, and if you try to commit it, you'll get an error saying that you're not permitted. It's because I haven't uh, added you as a contributor to the, that GitHub, and I'm not going to. Uh, Right-click it, team, disconnect. Then I'm going to right-click it, the project again, team, share project. And I'm going to share it to a new local repository. I'm going to call it PS1. Select the project and click finish. Now it's committed to my local repository. Excuse me, I have a, yeah, I have it shared to a local repository. Now I'm going to do a commit to it. And I'm going to commit and push and send it to the internet. So first thing I'm going to do is give a, a message and then commit. I think I spelled it right. Select all the files. Say commit and push. The first is going to do uh, a commit to my local repository. And the second action push is going to push the um, the resultant record set, excuse me, um, chain set to the internet. So that looks good. Nothing changes. User password. Click next. Click next. Click finish. And it says, master, new branch, repository, and so forth. Click OK. Go back to the internet, and I'm just going to hit F5 for refresh. And it's there. And it's there with the changes that I made there, Smith J. And there's the reference to Smith J. That's all there is to it. People that are making mistakes, I think um, if you're doing something like this, if you're selecting Smith J and trying to run this directly, you'll get a message like that. If you select the project directly and try to run, if it doesn't know that the main exists here, you may also, well, it happens to work because I already ran it. When, when you run it, when you run the program, Eclipse seeks out the, the main method. It seeks out this method. Um, and if I go to run configurations, it knows, because I ran it before, that the main method exists in main package main. Like it, it because of the first time I ran it. If you didn't run it the first time, it wouldn't know. So I can I can also identify a different main as well. I can have a main in in a completely different package that's the main um, the main entry point. So Eclipse is smart enough to know that whether you pick this or this, if you run it the first time, it'll it'll stick that configuration um, in there for you. If you didn't run it the first time, you have to select the class that you're going to run. If the class does not have a main method. It doesn't run. It's that simple. So Smith J, if I try to run it, no matter what I do, it won't run because there's no entry point for this method, for this class, for this program. Public static void hello world is not an entry point. Main is sort of a magical method. It is an entry point. 
All right, so that's it. Download the PS1, make a minor change, disconnect it, commit it, and then push it to your repo. Thank you very much. Bye.